hi uh, this is the third part of my side scrolling tutorial today i'm gonna show you how to add player health and death function in unreal engine you can see here player health lose effect and when player lose all the health then player death animation happen player die and uh, it show death ui so let's start the work uh, please like share and subscribe my channel you will get updated regularly uh there is a data animation uh, please uh, download the asset uh, there is a link in description and blood uh, background image uh, we need uh, these two things here is a, a blood image and here is a death uh, animation it will look like this just import it now uh, create a anim montage right button uh, here is anim montage so we need to do few things here uh, get the key here right button add new uh, section name i name it loop just uh, select the loop and it should be looping loop will loop if we play now we will see it to it do it stay there animation will stay there forever it look like dead we need this animation now uh, come back to our character here is the character animation blueprint just open it uh, here it is on the anim graph uh, locomotion we need to add uh, one thing here default the slot should be default compile and save it will play our anim montage by the way save everything now on blueprint uh, create a folder i name it umg you can name whatever you prefer uh, create a folder called ui and select uh, the ui and move it here save everything now create three uh, user widget blueprint i name it wb heart wb means widget blueprint uh, duplicate it. i name it gameplay and the last should be death uh, wb death save everything open the heart wb heart widget blueprint heart and on the palette uh, add canvas panel here add image select the image the anchor point should be all press alter uh, counter by the way bg and here we should select the image where is my blood image uh, here is the blood we need this now go to the graph add a delay it should be 0.5 second and after 0.5 second there is remove from parent which means destroy the widget save everything now we must add function in gameplay and death or oh, just open the gameplay here is my gameplay uh, add a canvas panel uh, now we will add a, a pros, progress bar here is our progress bar i place it here on the bottom middle uh, y position should be minus 100 h should be 700 and y should be 70 i think or 50 i guess it look like uh, not good 50 yes it's perfect i name it health uh, progress bar you can name whatever you prefer or whatever you like the color should be red r is one other is zero zero compile save now open our death widget add the canvas panel 
add image the image should be full name it bg uh, the tint should be 0.3 so it looks like transparent get a text block it should be on the middle and y position should be minus uh, 220 uh, 290 minus 290 by the way the font should be 24 or 70 I guess 70 the text should be you die now add two button button one it should be middle it should be alignment it sets is 0.5 size it should be 250 size y should be 70 position should be minus 100 duplicate it everything is fine position it should be zero duplicate it position it should be zero and our position y should be 100 so it's uh, same gap between them now add text to all of them text 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 first text should be 30 or 42 it should be restart second text is size same uh, 42 and it should be menu m e n u the third uh, text should be quit it should be also for 42 now change the name uh, the first name should be restart as the text second name should be menu as the text third name should be quit as the text on click menu on click and quit on click on the quit it should be quit them on player On restart, execute uh, console command. It should be also on player. That console command should be restart. R and restart level. R and L should be capital letter. Save everything. Now I will create a blueprint uh, actor component. We need it for our character health. Name it uh, WB Health or whatever name you prefer it does not matter uh, delete the event teeth we just need event vision play uh, right button get owner uh, promote to variable name it owner now create few variable i uh, name it health I name it Max Health. Create another variable, it should be Death. Question mark Health should be Float, Max Health should be Float. Compile Save. Now add Health here. Add Max Health here. get owner and owner should be here now search bind take any uh, bind event to untake any damage add it with the owner now on event add a custom event i name it uh, take damage you can name it anything you prefer add a custom event name it adjust event add a input 
input name should be add health and it should be float variable from here we will add add health here and it should be like this health is upper and add health to is lower a search clamp to float there is a mean maths and value and return uh, size it now add health here the value should be this add a maths health uh, maths health should be 100 and it should be instant editable and add maths health here now get the health value and if it equal or lower than zero make it straight uh, add a branch add here add here add a custom event name it uh, death add death variable and the variable should be true add death now in damage uh, we should multiply multiply by minus one uh, and uh, add with adjust damage compile and save save everything now go to character side is scroll our character add the bp health which we create few seconds ago all the value is here now we will add uh, to custom event uh, it should be player death player damage and uh, uh, create another one it should be player death player uh, death now add one keyboard button for our health lose uh, so we can check health lose uh, add player damage there now uh, create a widget add heart wb heart add to viewport it will show for five seconds and then remove and add here apply damage uh, and the base damage should be 20 and uh, damage actor should be self now on player death compile and save uh, get uh, the mesh here and from the mesh uh, search player uh, montage play montage and uh, uh, on the montage play the death ground which we created uh, first just add it and uh, meanwhile add a disable input so after death we cannot uh, give any input and it should be get player controller add it here and from there uh, create widget the widget should be wb death uh, we can add a uh, few delay here like 0.5 seconds after 0.5 seconds it will show the widget add here add here and uh, the widget is death add to viewport uh, get uh, player controller and uh, set show mouse cursor in case you know and the mouse cursor should be true compile and save now come to gameplay save all go to our level blueprint we should remove it there is also few work we must add uh, the health uh, here is our character but nothing is show uh, for showing uh, we must uh, go EMG gameplay 
and we need to go to our level blueprint and add the gameplay widget here create widget add wb gameplay add to viewport yes uh, compile and save now go to gameplay and on the percentage binding we will create a binding uh, get player character uh, cast our side scroller character uh, it should be pure and from here we search uh, get health get bp health and from here uh, get health and get uh, max health uh, divided add here compile and save and go to event graph copy this copy all three on event graph event it uh, don't delete it ctrl z uh, get uh, death add a branch if the character die then the gameplay should be removed from parent which means delete the gameplay widget will be deleted now go to side scroller character and add event it uh, now get the health and from here uh, get death add a branch that condition is death do once we want to run it only one time and it should be player death everything is done compile and save play save everything play the game alter p here is our character we can run we are not dropping if you press one then we will lose uh, health and there is a effect damaging effect we are pressing one and the character is death death animation play character lying on ground there is a, a death ui we can also restart it and we can do the same here also so that's it for today bye bye everybody